Okay, now we're going to move the gears off of the crank. Twenty-seven millimeter socket. So far these are all the bolts and the parts we have removed. Keep them all organized. As the book tells you, use some soft aluminum. That'll jam in there real nice so that you can untorque that gear. You got it. Gear. B. Do you see the B? Make sure the B is out. Don't put it in backwards. We're going to take the nut and the two gears off the balancer because that has to be removed before we can open the case. You're getting hungry, dog. Use the old aluminum, jam it in the gear. There. there. Now how do you know when to put the balancer on correctly? What do you look for? What is a mark? Two dots? Oh yeah, two dots. Okay. Okay. Everything's off now. Are we ready to open the case? No. Now we have to take off the shifting mechanism. That's the rod. That's, what is that? A washer, okay. Try and keep it in one piece. Okay. You see it right there? See it right there? See it right there. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing. And then it goes on like that. So I'm going to keep this in one piece. Try and keep it together. Slide this so that the metal holds those wedges in place. And you'll be able to put it right back on. I'm going to go in there. Yeah. Stick it in this rod. Yeah. And if you stick this thing back together like this, this okay. thing has to be rotated to 90 degrees. Oh, okay. Just leave it apart right now. We'll do it, we'll do it when you put it back together. Twelve millimeter socket, take off the shift star. Okay. There's the gear arm locking mechanism. We're going to take that off. Go ahead. What's all that? Spring bolt. Okay. You have to make sure you keep all the pieces in order. There, the shift star is off. And there's the bearing. Okay, that's everything removed on this side. Don't need to take off any more. These things were removed so that you could split the case in half. There's a little dowel thing. Be careful of that if you put that back in. Okay. That little dowel we took out goes in here. So we'll leave it in the outside case, okay? So you don't lose it. Next step is to flip the motor over and take off the side cover for the magneto.
There we are. Drill to remove them all. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And they all different lengths? So keep them in order so you know where they come from. Okay, forgot one little one there. Take off cover, and there's nothing in there because we have removed it. That's the electric start mechanism because we have a Kickstarter. There, there's two more bolts you have to get. There's one and the other one. Otherwise the side cover will not come off. Okay. Remove the side, ready to remove the side cover. There we are. And that's magneto pickup coil right here on the side cover. There it is. And there, hold it real still there. There's the little mechanism that goes out sometimes. Right there. The pickup coil. Right there. If you have a hard time starting and it does not start, you may have to replace that. They do go out. This one did go out. There is the flywheel. It's a Trail Tech minus four with the ring off. Or the ring on. The ring's on in the back. Okay. Minus four flywheel. Okay, we're going to take that off. Okay, so to torque that to 45 foot-pounds is some job. You have to hold, have a flywheel holder or have it in the quad and torque it down finally before you put the cover on or put the aluminum between those two gears again and torque it that way. We're just going to remove it right now. And they say that it pops off. What's the trick? Never take the bolt all the way off because it has such force that when you start pulling it off with the flywheel puller it can jump off and hit you in the head. Uh, that has happened before so always leave the bolt on just a little bit. Don't take the bolt all the way off when you loosen it. It won't come off and hit you in the head then. Okay. Uh, yeah, the nut should be left on about two or three turns just in case. Okay. Get this Now to get this off you need a flywheel puller. Go ahead and put the flywheel puller on. It's a special device that screws onto the flywheel and then this little bolt goes down through and puts pressure lifting it off. It's off. So we take the nut off, the washer, the flywheel, and there's the metal shaft that is jammed onto very hard. There's the chain, see it? The cam chain? Okay. Alright, that's the crankshaft. It's a woodruff key that keeps the flywheel from sliding sideways on the shaft, keeps the timing in order. So make sure you put that back. Show us how you put it back in there. It goes in that little slot there. There it goes. And just before you put the flywheel on, you have to put that woodruff key back in there. Okay. If you have an electric start, and you're starting the big bore motor, sometimes if it kicks back you'll shear that woodruff key off, you won't start anymore and uh, it just will not start. You have to take your flywheel off and change the woodruff key. It'll probably take a while to get one on order. 
we like kick starting. Now on yours you will have a big gear on the back of that uh, back of that flywheel and uh, another gear um, that looks a little different. We've took, taken those off because we have a kickstarter. Okay, so what's the next here?